I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're diving into the heartwarming journey of Eddie and Acorn, a story of us all. It's written by a terrific author. His name is Stephen Toot. This inspiring story follows a young acorn through life stages, ultimately blossoming into a powerful transformation with themes of growth, resilience, and finding purpose. This book is perfect for anyone seeking a touching tale about life's beautiful journey. We're delighted to have this very talented author join us here today on Spotlight. We thank our wonderful team at Books to Life Marketing for helping us put him in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support authors like him by subscribing to our channel and by purchasing his amazing book. The links are below this interview. So good to see you here today on Spotlight, Stephen. Thank you for being our guest. Thank you for having me. It's a privilege. It's my privilege, my honor. This is a great story, uh, very unique, very original. How'd you come up with the idea? Well, I I feel in part like I, I didn't come up with it. It came up with me. Um, I had uh, this kind of flash during a meditation and then uh, a pretty vivid dream about it. And that was what began it and it arguably sort of wrote itself in that con you know so that that but the but i will say this the probably the the initial core and the message that i got at the same time was something to help children realize or have that plant that seed that even though life is going to be hard or might have challenges or unknowns uncertainties that it all leads to a transformation, that it all leads to something better and and you can't predict it, so. Well, that's a great message for sure. Give the folks at home an overview of Eddie's journey. Well, he begins uh, up, in, up in the trees, just knowing himself as himself and as his, uh, with his friends and really not aware of anything else. But then slowly as the seasons change and changes begin to happen, you know, he gets concerned. He has a dialogue during the book with an owl who is his companion throughout the story. And that kind of he 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 ushers him in or helps him with some of those harder times and talking things through and is there to witness his transformation at the end. Wonderful. Well, wise old owls are good for that. We all need a wise owl in our lives to give us a little guidance and some company along the way, along our path. And I think it's uh, a great aspect of the story as well. Um, is Tell us a little bit about your journey as a writer. Is this your first time writing a book? Tell us what you're writing. Yeah, about. I've um, written small articles, but never a book and never have gotten so carried away as to publish. And for that matter, um, this book would never have happened if I hadn't stumbled across uh, and reached out to my illustrator, Caitlin Gallant, because mm -hmm. it was... It was in my drawer for, oh my, I, I it was in my drawer for 15 years uh, before I, the illustrator, I just, it there again, it came to me, she would be able to do this. And it, it just brought Eddie to life in a way that really felt tangible and really felt like it, uh, it, it deserved to really go out. And so that's, that's what changed things for me um, in terms of feeling a strong urge to go forward, publish the book, get it out there and let the world hopefully enjoy it. Wonderful, wonderful. And certainly illustrations certainly bring children's books to life. Tell us a little bit about your collaboration with Caitlin, how you found her and how you work together to have the images complement the text. Well, she's my niece and okay. I, yeah, and she lives in Australia and I had, I didn't really know that she was, I knew that she drew really well as a child, but then they, when they moved to Australia, I arguably kind of lost touch. Mm -hmm. And then through a series of coincidences, we got chatting one day and I looked at her work and it just struck me, would you be willing? And she read the story and it touched her heart and she said, absolutely. And then we back and forth collaborated with ideas and different, oh, she had so many different brilliant sketches uh for me to sort, sort through but what we landed on feels really like the real story um but that's how that's how we kind of moved through it um and it was all done through email wonderful so, Look, yeah. wonderful that you're able to collaborate with family and uh come up with this wonderful work 
And uh, it's terrific that you discovered the hidden talent that your niece had and then uh, worked together to uh, create this. Have you envisioned Eddie the Acorn perhaps as an animated series or a movie or something like that? Certainly, certainly. Um, you know, I have, you know, to to share. I, I mean, I have other Eddie the Acorn books that I have written and I'm playing with publishing, but uh, I've often seen it as a ongoing or a series or a cartoon, for lack of a better, or even a movie. It's it just speaks, and so. Uh, yes, is the simplest answer. <laughs> well, it's wonderful. You get the work out there. You've created it. You never know whose hands it's going to wind up in. So hopefully Hulu or Disney or uh, Netflix gives you a call and wants to turn it into an animated series for children. I think that would be terrific. Tell us about the other books you envision being in the series. So far, one is published. I, en I envision Eddie having a full life. And as you if when you read the book, you understand his transformation takes a huge leap and I don't want to ruin it for anybody that reads the book, but that then has a whole life of its own as a different character, if you will. And um, there are themes that all stay around transformation, growth, feeling, feeling secure, even when life isn't secure. And that was kind of the original impetus to hopefully communicate to children especially that there will be changes but you will get through them you'll be in a better place at the other side and uh have some trust and uh trying to get that message across to children at a young age when um i feel like as we get to be adults we often forget that even though we face challenges and solve them but uh eddie um I just think Eddie communicates that for children in a way that that hopefully touches someone and helps them through a hard time. Absolutely. Have you um, done a test read with children? Have you had the opportunity to share the story with any kids? Yeah. And it's just a glowing response. And they because even at the back of the book, a bunch of them want to draw him. And so at the back number of pages, we take some of the artwork and then we leave blank pages next to that artwork for a child to sketch Eddie and his friends or other parts of the book. And so that, that seems to be quite a hit with the kids who, as opposed to, and the parents I'm, I'm hearing are saying, thank you because they're not drawing on the artwork in the book. They're drawing on the back pages of the book, <laughs> which uh, seems to help preserve it for the, the next sibling. <laughs> in that. Exactly. Exactly. What would now this stayed buried in a draw somewhere or on a hard drive or something for a decade and a half, as you mentioned, 15 years. What was the reaction of those around you when you say, hey, you know what? I wrote this story a long time ago. I think it's pretty good. Tell us about how that came about. Well, there, there's always been support around me to publish it. And in fact, a lot of encouragement to get it out there. But there again, uh, interviewing several illustrators and it never quite clicked until Caitlin came along and it just felt like it flowed. It, it flowed just like the words of the book flowed. And, and that really changed everything for me and made me think, ah, oh, it's really time. And the response has been glowing all the way down the line. You know, everybody's very, very supportive and encouraging of it and even encouraging of other books. But uh, I've, I've dragged my feet a little bit on that, but I'm, you know, I'm being patient and waiting for things to flow a little now bit. How this one goes, if the demand is there, come up with your next or publish your next. I think that's a wise course of action for sure. And hopefully the demand is there because it is an outstanding book. Transformation, of course, is the prevailing theme of this book. Why do you think it's so important for children to learn about transformation and change and embrace it? I think because children live just in the moment and now, you know, they don't, they're not out there dreaming about their future other than when they're asked, what do you want to be when you grow up or something? But by and large, you know, mentally and emotionally, they are fully in the present. And sometimes their lives aren't always so easy or they have other challenges. And although there are adults and that around them, hopefully uh, encouraging them, the the intention here was to really touch them with some certainty, a story they could relate to about his own concerns and his own challenges, and then 
to see it turn into something that couldn't even have been imagined by Eddie as an acorn. And yet, and that, that inspiration to hopefully let a child know that that too is your life. You're, you're going to go through changes and transformations that you have never imagined. You, you, you know, you can't, they can't, you can't describe to a child what it's like to be an adult. Right. They are one. Exactly. Exactly. Well, it's a wonderful story you've come up with. The name of the book is Eddie the Acorn, A Story of Us All. It is an inspiring tale that follows a young acorn through life stages, ultimately blossoming into a powerful transformation. The book has themes of growth, resilience, and finding purpose. It is perfect for anyone seeking a touching tale about life's beautiful journey. Stephen, thank you so much for joining me here today on Spotlight. Thank you for having me. I appreciate your time, sir. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time until next time on Spotlight.